Good afternoon. <clears throat> this is Fred Hadley reporting live from the Village Century on Century Village Boulevard, just west of the intersection with Cornwall Drive, where there's been a minor two-car collision um, involving this red vehicle. Looks like a Chevy Malibu. And this SUV or van, whatever you want to call it. It's a Toyota XLE. North Star, is that what it's called? What is that called? Um, um, Minor Star, I don't know. Okay, so that's the only damage on this side here? I, I just got here, my husband. Oh, that's the only damage, huh, on the side? Yeah. Were you driving? Yeah, nobody injured. As you can see, driver is physically challenged. Says he was going westbound on Century Village Boulevard and the Malibu was making a U-turn or something. Can you unlock? I, I can't reach under there. There's a, a thing to unlock. Well, I don't know where it would be. Uh, unlocking what? So the wheelchair uh, can get out. It's a... Um, yeah, but I don't know. Red... It's underneath. Um, like underneath here? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, on, on the floor. Mm. Mm. And I couldn't... I'm going to try. Yeah, There's thank you. I appreciate right. it. I just feel like... Oh. Okay. Oh, is that it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I, I couldn't find it. I couldn't... Um, well, there you go. So in addition to being a reporter, I'm a helping hand today. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So it's a Minor Star, I guess is how you pronounce it. Sustained some damage to the sliding door. Fortunately, there were no injuries here. Uh, conditions are dry, clear, just a light wind. And temperature 81 degrees now. Just joining us, who had a two car minor collision on Century Village Boulevard between the Chevy Malibu, which sustained left front quarter damage appears to be a resident has the gate decal So well, there you have it. We're inside Century Village Boca Raton. This is the main drag, Century Village Boulevard. Uh, the speed limits inside the village on the main roads are 20, but vehicles usually drive anywhere from 30 to 50 miles an hour along the boulevard. At this point, it's a four lane road. And I guess that encourages to go a little faster than they ought to. Once you turn inside an association, the speed limit usually drops to 15. So. This looks like it was just a, a minor fender bender, as they say. All right. Well, thanks very much to the viewer or reader who called us in. Forgot to ask him his name, but I'll uh, 
give them a call and thank them. Now I see there is a residence sticker on this vehicle. So they're both residents of the village apparently. What association do you live in? Lincoln. Lincoln. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Once again, this is Fred Hadley reporting live for the Village Century over Facebook. And this was a, a minor fender bender between a Chevy Malibu and a Toyota. I don't remember how to pronounce that. Something star, Navistar or something. Um, Once again, there were no injuries, just a minor fender bender, reminding everybody, keep to the posted limit, 20 miles an hour on the main road. This is Century Village Boulevard. You're looking westbound uh, towards Ainsley. And the big collision occurred apparently uh, around the intersection. We're gonna take a look and see if there's any debris in the roadway. something lying there don't know what it is it might just be discoloration or could have come from the vehicle no that was there well looks like they didn't lose too much material i can't see anything that fell off usually there's a nice debris trail when these things happen but apparently not take a little look further up the road we're not exactly sure where it happened but somewhere in this intersection of Cornwall Drive and Century Village Boulevard don't see any skid marks I don't think either vehicle was traveling very fast based on the damage looked like a low speed collision so So there you have it. Two car minor collision involving the red Malibu and the white Toyota. No injuries, fortunately. So we'll be signing off for now. Um, today is Pi Day, March 14th. So called because it's three. 14, which is the number pi, if you don't take it to too many decimal points, the relationship of a circle's circumference to its diameter. And in a couple of days, it'll be St. Patrick's Day. So happy pi day. Um, I hope you all remember to spring forward. Today's first day of so-called daylight saving time, which is a misnomer, since no daylight is saved at all. It really should be called daylight shifting time because all they're doing is shifting the daylight to the evening hours, which of course, I like that, um, but they're taking it away from the morning hours. So one of these days they'll maybe change it to daylight shifting time because we don't get any extra daylight. Any extra daylight we're getting is about a minute and a half every day because of um, the changing of the season. This week will be the first day of spring. Already feels like summer down here in Boca Raton, up in New York. I think it's around 50 degrees, but I understand they got very windy conditions. March, by the way, for those of you that are meteorology fans, in North America is the windiest month of the year. 
it's what they call a transition month. Uh, the Earth's atmosphere, uh, the planet, the surface, everything's heating up now, so you get a lot of uh, windy conditions. So keep that in mind and keep your hat well pushed into your head so you don't lose it. All right, so we'll sign off now. Seems to be winding down. The police are making their report. Again, just some minor damage to the side of the Min Minor Star. I looked that up on the internet. Never heard of that. And uh, and the Chevy Malibu, which just got some minor left front fender damage from where it sideswiped or collided um, with the van. Well, thanks very much for tuning in. This is Fred Hadley reporting live on Century Village Boulevard, where there's been a minor injury-free two-car collision. Get out of the road.